Welcome to the sauce, ma. Hit that button that say subscribe and join the ride. You don't need nobody else. I want you all to myself, I swear. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm selfish. I want you all to myself, I swear You don't need nobody else, I swear I want you all to myself, babe I'm down for Anyway, as y'all can see, I brought the guns out Y'all wasn't expecting that Yeah, get scared Make me have to pull up on somebody Hit you with the boop boop Don't try me, bruh Don't make me go crazy Anyway, 2K decided to reveal Part two of how to get into the 2k league now. Here's what's completely switch left field on everybody You don't have to use your my player You can't use your my player. They have preset my players for you Ladies and gentlemen, this is huge news. This is groundbreaking information How many of you have your 50 wins? In January already cuz I got my 50 do you got your 50 wins to go on to the next level we'll find out together let's head into the back cave na 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 now that we in the back cave yeah I don't know if you ever knew I just transitioned from like here to here anyway that don't even matter bro we here we got a lot to talk about in this game the 2k league combine starts February the 2nd and it ends February 21st. But there's specific days that you come out and play. The key dates that you keep out for the second, third, fourth, seventh, you can write all this down. Just come back to this page and keep checking on it. There's specific times when you're supposed to be playing. I don't know about all that, but it makes sense because you're supposed to be matching up against other combine players. You're not just playing anybody like you was able to for January. Now in February, you're playing people that got the 50 wins. You understand what I'm saying? Now you're playing people that actually belong in the combine. Now here's the exciting point for me. Gameplay will consist of six minute quarters with standard pro-am rules. We used to five minute quarters. They giving us an extra minute to get buckets. You understand? They adding an extra minute to every quarter, making sure them buckets get got. You feel me? If a player files out, they will be placed by AI. We know that. We know that. There will be one position played per team. Even roster composition using a point guard, shooting guard, small four, power four, and center. So you'll never be undersized. You will always be playing against equal teams. This is beautiful. This is why I'm telling you that there's preset players, there's preset archetype builds you have to use. We'll get to that just a little later. I imagine it to be like all-star team up where you just go into matchmaking, find 10 players. Then once you get in there, you pick whatever position you want to play and the archetype that goes with it. That's just my personal thoughts on it. I don't know if this is true or not. This just how it makes sense in my head personally. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Can we play with teams? Am I missing something? Can we play with people that we know? Or is it strictly randoms? That's the only thing I don't fully know and I'm not certain about. Players will have five archetypes to choose from for each position, but must complete in only one position throughout the combine. How is that? How are y'all going to contradict yourselves like that? How are y'all going to contradict yourselves? That makes zero sense. You got to play as one position through the whole combine, but basically if somebody already take the point guard position, because you're playing with randoms, you're going into this with randoms. If somebody else is a point guard and you get matched up with a point and a point guard is already on your team, you have to pick a different build and archetype. So like, how, how am I going to get my 40 wins as a point guard if you match me up with somebody on my team that likes to play point guard? Like, that don't make sense for me. That don't make no sense. Players can choose the archetype they play with for their selected position. Me personally, straight out the bat, I got to go sharpshoot and playmaker. I have to. 
Now, my, my, my player, the one I use all day, I'm a 6'8 playmaking shot creator. Now, the only problem I have, I can't consistently pull up for three. I need that three-point shot in my game, so I got to be the sharpshooting playmaker. You understand what I'm saying? As long as my team is up in transition, y'all leave me that open shot, I'm pulling those. That's what I'm doing now. I got to play that sharpshooting playmaker. A slashing playmaker would be nice to be tall. But we going to see. Reese could get freaky either way. Now, I could be that 6'7 slashing playmaker and put constant pressure on defenses in the open court on some Ben Simmons types. Because you know that's my type of play style. But I don't want to be no liability from the three-point line. And I feel like I can get to the layups real easy and simple. That's why I'm thinking I should just use a sharp. This is some on-the-fly decision-making that I'm going to have to make myself. I don't trust I don't trust randoms, bruh. I'm going to have to be the primary ball handler. And if I make a slasher, you know slashers run in a straight line and get posterized in animations. I'm definitely not picking a shooting guard because none of the shooting guards really got playmaking besides the slasher so i ain't really paying attention to that shooting guard slot ladies and gentlemen i don't know this is gonna be a tough decision for me personally let me know what y'all think do y'all got your 50 wins what archetype are you going to be using because they all right here you got your small fours, the shot creating slasher, sharp shooting shot creator, pure sharp, slashing defender. You know you got your power forwards, your centers. That post scoring athletic finisher is A1. That play, that's A1, bruh. Let me see what y'all gonna be up to. Let me know down in the comments. There will not be a leaderboard. However, participants will be able to view statistics. You gonna be able to check the statistics between video on demand highlights. And hey, so you going to so all your games going to be recorded. You're going to be able to check out your, your statistics through the games that you play. So the people that's over there drafting, they can check out what you out here doing on the fly. You understand what I'm saying? That's fire. During the combine, the NBA 2K League will measure high level statistics such as points, rebounds, assists, and well more in-depth stats such as shot release time, pass to assists, and block efficiency. I don't want y'all out here just jumping at everything, but blocks don't work. I don't care what the hell this piece of paper say. Everything's a damn file. Don't jump for blocks. Everything's a damn file. Bruh, this is beautiful what I'm hearing. We don't care about none of the logos, but that, 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 that combine right there. That, that combine right there, that boy. That, that sound nice. That sound real nice. Is y'all ready for February? Your boy out here ready for action. This is dope. It's going to be trash, but hey, it's a dope concept. It's just going to bring new fun for me for the game. That's all I'm looking for right now. Hit the button that says subscribe. Join the mob. While you at it, follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram at I-T-Z-R-E-A-S-E. -E. Yeah, other than that, it's your boy Reese, and I'm gone. Give yeah, yeah, me Selfish. I want you all to myself, I swear. You don't need nobody else, I swear. I want your body right here, cause I'm selfish.